In this video tutorial, we're going to look at how to set up your modules so that they're not all visible to the students all at once. In most cases, teachers want to hide upcoming units and upcoming content so that the students can focus in on what is important right now and accomplish what they need to accomplish now. Hopefully you've already watched my other Canvas LMS tutorials. I have one on building a course using modules and I have one on setting up the course homepage in Canvas. But let's look now at how to lock and unlock modules in Canvas. Now some of you may be thinking, well why not just unpublish modules or units in this case that you don't want the students to be able to see? Well, you know what? That would actually work. If you're going to be consistent about unpublishing and publishing and doing that all on time so that the students can access what they need to access but nothing more, if you're going to be reliable enough to do that, then yeah, you could just publish and unpublish, but I don't recommend that. Instead, I recommend that you automate the release of the modules to the students. So let's look at how you could do that. Here I am in the course modules and over here on the right the unit 1 it's really module 1 on the right side there's a gear symbol and if I click on that I can go to edit and it lets me lock this module. So let's say the school year hasn't even started yet but I'm preparing my course I'm getting all the content ready. Well I want to lock unit 1 until the beginning of the school year. So let's say it's a really late start on the school year. Let's say it's going to start September 19th. So I click on that. I can even say what time of day it will unlock. Let's say 6 a.m. and I click done. So this will be locked until September 19th at 6 a.m. I click update module and it gives me a warning that this is an active course. What if some students have already gotten into it? Well, I'm not going to worry about that because the school year hasn't started yet. So now you can see here on the right side that it says it will unlock September 19th at 6 a.m. This module number one. Okay, great. So module number two, I could do the same thing. I could have it unlock the week after or two weeks after just by clicking that same gear symbol, choosing edit, and then choosing lock. But what if you wanted to set it up so that the students can move ahead at their own pace? You could make it so that when they complete Unit 1, Unit 2 becomes available. And it becomes available just for that student or those students that have completed Unit 1. So this is kind of an exciting idea. So to make that happen, what you could do is you go over here on the right for Unit 2 or Module 2 really. Click the gear symbol, click Edit, and I want to add a prerequisite. So the prerequisite is they have to complete Unit 1, the family. And I click Update Module. It's going to warn me again, but I'll just click continue. So now, Unit 2 will not show up for the students until they complete Unit 1. So I'm done, right? Actually, no, I'm not. It seems like I should be done, but there is one more step. What I have to do now is I have to identify and tell Canvas what it is about Unit 1 that must be completed in order for this prerequisite to be met. The prerequisite is that they finish Unit 1, but what is the trigger that says that Unit 1 is completed? Well, I have to set that up. So I would go here to the gear symbol to the right of Module 1, Unit 1, click Edit, and here it says Requirements. So a requirement, in order to say that Unit 1 is finished, the students must do something. I could say the students must complete all of these requirements or one of these requirements. In this case, I'm going to say all of these requirements. They have to have viewed the Welcome to La Familia page. And then I want to add another requirement. So I'll click Add Requirement. They also have to turn in the assignment Describe Your Family. So I want to change that from View Item to Submit the Assignment. And then they also have to do another thing. They have to participate in the discussion, get to know each other. So I'm going to click here and say contribute to the page. If they've done all three of those things, they have fulfilled the requirements for Unit 1 and the prerequisite for Unit 2 will be satisfied. So I'll click update module. Now I could have gone easier on the students and not required all three of those things. I could have just said once they turn in the assignment, the requirements fulfilled, so the prerequisite Unit 1 is complete, and now Unit 2 is available. So I know that's a little tricky, but I hope that this video has been helpful. Basically to quickly review, if you want modules to automatically unlock for individual students when they complete the previous module, you have to go in and make sure Sure that you set the prerequisite as being that they complete the previous unit or module and then you go to that previous module and you establish what the requirement is what is the trigger that says that that module has been completed 
So I hope that this video has been worthwhile and useful to you, and I really hope that you'll consider connecting with me on my social media websites like Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. And if you like the video, please click the like button below if it's been helpful at all to you. And please do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students, and watch for a new video at least every Monday.